What's up guys, it's YCF, and we got to be a little bit quiet right now, this is really late, but we have for you here a Metal Beard's Z-Count, so this baby just came out, this is Clutch, uh, we're going to put a link to his channel in the description, um, this is Clutch of Sea Cow, he built this whole thing, how long did it take you? Seven and a half hours, at a feverish pace. And he did it live on his channel. So we're going to get a nice detailed look at this. So we get a mini metal beard, we'll get a good look at that. Last thing to tell you before we get a close look at everything is that this is... Wait for it. A one booker. There it is. But uh, why don't we get a close up of the figs, and we'll start you off with the one I know you guys are all dying to see. Hey, which one is that? Benny! Oh yeah. Benny! Spaceship. Spaceship, 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 spaceship. All right, so let's get a better look right now. Let's zoom in. All right guys, so we've got all of the smaller builds kind of lined up for you. Uh, we're just gonna name them out and then we'll get each of these on the pedestal. Oh yeah, should we do the micromanagers too? We got some micromanagers here, thanks Clutch. And so we've got the mini Metal Beard, Wild Style. What's this kitty called? Queasy Kitty. Yeah, Kitty looks sick. Uh, Benny and Vitruvius and Emmett, and then we get, this is the only set I think we get two micromanagers, and then the famous double decker couch. So why don't we do this? Let's start off with Benny, and then we'll go from there. All right, so here is Benny, and the first thing to point out is that you do see he has the cracked helmet, and that is because the old style, original space helmets were flawed, and oftentimes were cracked. So if we look at it, it is. And then we do have like the printing that it looks like it's completely scraped off. Which it would never wear in that in that way. That's the weird part about it. And just to... I'm anxious to see, will the gold come off of this from extended touching like uh, the classic one? And here is Wild Style. We've seen her before in lots of other sets. Check out the arm printing. Right, Clutch? Yeah. You like the arm printing. <laughs> Got some inner hood printing. There's inner hood printing? Outer hood printing. Outer hood printing, yeah. Well, the hood's pretty sweet. Inner hood printing. <laughs> and some double-sided face, although they're not that different. Slightly different. Wait till you see Wild Style in her spacesuit on the Benny Spaceship, Spaceship, Spaceship! Spaceship. That's cool. And here is Emmett, our hero. And he does also come with the piece of resistance in this set. And now you can just see the back printing and both facial expressions. And here is Vitruvius with the pretty cool cape. One of the best minifigures of the theme, in my opinion. Um, the only minifig in this set that comes with an accessory which is right here. But let's get a better look, we'll get the cape off, we'll show you all the fantasticness of Vitruvius. Now is it me, or does Vitruvius look like a zombie? Like with those hollow eyes. And now he's sad. Sad of Vitruvius. With no printing at all in the back, I guess because he has that awesome cape. But, cool tie-dye shirt. I can see some sig figs being created with the tie-dye action. Here is Queasy Kitty, and you can see that is a printed brick, so no stickers, which is nice, and then you do get that tail, which is also printed. The thing is with these kitties, and I'm sure this has been covered before, but they're quite fragile, uh, with just that one round plate to hold on the head, uh, which isn't, you know, really proportionate, and then no matter what you do, it falls off kind of easily. But other than that, it's neat. These kitties are kind of cool. And obviously people are collecting them and lining them all up. And we have more kitties to come, so look out kitty for more action. kitties. Kitty action happening. And here is the double decker couch. It's gonna show you all the way around so you can see how it's built. Um, now Clutch also did point out that maybe the couch is flawed. and. You know, I'm kind of on the fence about it, but remember, Emmett did build it and he is not a master builder. And the deal here is that they can't sit all the way back because, well, lots of them have accessories, but they will sit, well, most of them anyway, 
will be able to fit here. Let's just take Benny, for example. Oh man, if I can get this going. So if you put like the, the holes that are closest to the back, then they will fit. Um, and then here, so we'll do the same thing with Emmett. We'll put him up top. Actually, we'll put Emmett on the bottom because we'll put him next to his woman who is the only one that can actually sit all the way in as long as her arm is up. And then Vitruvius we can put on top. So there's something to back out a little bit. There are all of the figs on the couch, but only Wild Style is all the way back. So there it is. The life-saving, amazing, inventive double-decker couch. So here is Metal Beard, and of course we do get, here just to give you a, a peek at another set. Now we don't get this bigger one in this set, but this is the real Metal Beard, but in the Sea Cow set we get, well, what has been nicknamed Mini Beard, and basically it's everything just scaled down a tad. Uh, some things are the same size as the, as the real Metal Beard, but most, most things are scaled down. So we do get a brick-built shark arm, we get the cannons on the side, uh, we even get that new piece that is showing up now in the Mixels and the Legend Beast sets for Chima. So it's that new little ball joint they're using here for the cannons. Uh, we get the steering wheel here in the, in the back, the peg leg. Uh, and of course, metal beard and, and that uh, metal beard piece. The bird on top, the flag, the anchor, just real neat. I mean, no matter how you get a metal beard, whether it's this mini beard or the ginormous beard, metal beard, the real one, um, it's pretty cool. And there's a seat perfectly for him in the sea cow, which we'll show you right after we look at the two micromanagers. And these are our two micromanagers. Each have different play features. We'll start off with our smaller micromanager. And you can see that there's netting on the inside. And in the back, there is a pin. So I'm just going to fire it toward the camera. I'm just going to push that pin in. Oh, I didn't do it fast enough. So it just kind of fell. So we'll do a redo. We'll just kind of stick the net back in there. If I can get it in. And then I'm going to show you that the satellite comes down and the two sides here open up and there is some flick fire. So, kaboom. And we get some spare missiles on the inside if you want to continuing with your flick fire. But we're not gonna. So we're just going to put him back, close him up and then get to the sea cow. What's up guys, I'm Clutch, and we're here to check out all the action you'll be experiencing with your very own Metal Beard Sea Cow. So, this is a classic Clutch uncut one take, so we're gonna go through the whole thing from bow to anti-bow. So, we got Stern. Stern, can I get a stern? Stern. Stern, all right. So, up front we have the cow, of course the sea cow in question and has black wings, which you might remember from the Chima sets. Interestingly enough, the modified bricks of the clips are also in black on here, which, I mean, couldn't they be reddish brown? Couldn't they be cow chunks? Why are they gonna be black? Who knows? But uh, the whole mast on the front, which I'm sure has a boat name, one of those horizontal masts, that's up here. You get a whole uh, secondary mast here, which you could use somewhere else on the ship if you really wanted to. There's chains hanging off everywhere. In fact, when we were driving this here in the car, it was giving us, uh, you know, this noise, this classic action noise here. So up here on the first mast, we have the turret here, which they have wild style in, made of, you, ca you count it, four flick fire missiles. And they are both, uh, you can pivot them a little bit. You can sit here with the handlebars and work that turret. Doesn't rotate or anything like that, so it's, straight on and that's all there is to it. There are ladders that come up to it. And here we have the smokestack with the giant turbines on the side. Now uh, there is a little fireplace in the middle here with a box of coal and a shovel and a hammer and a wrench and a crowbar. 
and uh, a lot of other stuff. This is apparently the exhaust, according to the press release. <laughs> if you turn it, the anchors on both sides will uh, extend and also retract into the boat. So there's an anchor on each side. They don't really go down too far. But then again, we cannot determine the water line on this ship for real. Because, we'll bring it down here, it has three cannons on each side. They are the working cannons, so you fire, and you pull back and you fire them. And they're real low on the boat. Then all the way on the back here, the rudder, which should be underwater with at least one of these four propellers on the back here, is higher up than the cannon. So, it's not really meant to go in water. In fact, on the instructions and the box, it does say, boat does not float. So I don't recommend floating this one, because it is made out of the segmented hulls. So, going up to the top here, we have a couple crow's nests on the top of the masts. We also have Metal Beard here in his big, sweet, lazy boy recliner that he steers the ship from. In fact, it's great. The, uh, the steering wheel for the captain is on this big Technic rig here in front of him. Neither of his hands are really good for steering, especially because his sword is not uh, sheathable like it is in the big Metal Beard. Just let's get Metal Beard off there for a yeah. second, just so we can see. I really want you to see this chair. Yeah, this chair is pretty sweet. So you have the dark red. It's a very nice chair. I didn't really know what I was building when I was building it first, but it turns into a chair. And then there's this uh, telescope thing on the back. You'll also notice there are a lot of the Indiana Jones whips on here. There's six in the set, and they're basically used for uh, accents, but they, uh, they work pretty well. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> We're gonna start at the top of the ship, work our way down all the way into the depths of the ship. We're gonna look at all the play features that come with this. So we have our observation deck here on top, behind his chair. You say observation deck? I, I said something, that's for sure. We could take that off. It is one of the only parts that it removes easily. As you can see, it has very few studs on here holding it on. The rest of it, you don't you don't want to separate it. I'll tell you right now. So this is Metal Beard's cabin. It has a front door you can come in through. And it has, you know, everything he could ever want, except the ability to fit inside. He won't fit in there. But he's got he's got a sextant, he's got a globe, he's got bottles, he's got ink and a, a quill pen. He's got maps, he's got a portrait of himself. So one thing really we should point out is that there are no stickers on this set that have been put on, but if there was, like that tile there would have a map on it. Yeah, there's a big, should be a big portrait of him in the back. Well, I don't wanna say it's him because it really doesn't look anything like him, but there's a portrait of a pirate. Gotcha. All so right. you might think that this part also lifts off to reveal a room below it, but it doesn't. They uh, did a very good job of attaching that with these uh, curved plates right here in the front. So, if we go down a level, you can access that from these two doors on the side. And in here is uh, what I believe to be the boiler room, because there is a uh, big uh, crank wheel here with some faucets on the side. And there's also, it's also somewhat of an armory. There's um, rifles and pistols and cutlasses, and then a really cool chandelier build that you get. Which moves. Yep. Yeah. Um, sure most things on this ship move. On the outside here, we have uh, triple lanterns on each side, which is very reminiscent of the old pirate ships from the uh, 80s. There are also four propellers on the back, which is uh, a lot. There's really no good way to spin them all, especially this one in here. This is my favorite, this big one. It's very well built. And then there's also a little metal beard. Uh, reference here with a pearl gold head with his signature hat on it. Have we gotten pearl gold head before? We've gotten the head, but I don't think we've gotten it unprinted. So close up that. Come around back to the, the front here. There but are two. The, the golden ninja has pearl gold head, for sure. Yeah, and also uh, also the uh, Atlantis guy, the statue. Uh, so there's two gates here to get into the boiler room as well. And uh, our main mast here has the most sails on it. Now, all the sails are made out of Technic fairings instead of textiles, which is a choice they decided to make. And the final area we're going to look at is the, uh, well, where you'd fire the cannons from. So this that, part lifts off. Without, that just lifts off. There it doesn't. No connections. Can't. No. So it's just uh, placed in there, gravity holds it in. Yes. And if you look underneath, there's a skull and some gems. 
cup, and then on the back, there's a rat. Wow. And on the front, also, there is a the fireplace here I was talking about. And there's a, a toolbox? Yeah, there's a toolbox, there's a shovel, and then there's a container full of coal. And it's, it's really a good smokestack. Now, we're gonna go down into the depths here. It's the last part of the ship. We have six working cannons, like I mentioned before, as well as 12 cannonballs in the containers there. There's also two rammers, which you can use to load the cannons. And in the front, you can see the mechanism for winding up the anchors. Oh yeah, give it a wind so we can see how that works. All right, guys, well, that does it for the thorough look at Metal Beard's Sea Cow. I want to thank Clutch for all the work he put into actually building this thing and then bringing it over here so we could we could review it uh, on YCF. And it's been a while since we've done a review like this, and it's been fun for sure. Um, so let us know in the comments below if you're going to seek out and get this puppy. Uh, if you had to rate this against some of the other UCS sets, where does it fit in your pecking order? This is really special. If you want to see a behind the scenes on how we filmed this video, raw and uncut, you can check out, oh my goodness, you can check out Classy Bricks. We're gonna put a link in the description. We did a live stream and filmed this whole thing um, where you can see all the mistakes that we made and everything like that. So check out Classy Bricks. We'll put a link to his channel below. Alright, so if you haven't already, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to ICF, subscribe to Bricks on the Dollar, there are links in the description below, and until next time, it's your creative friends, stay creative. Peace.